for you somebody who struggles with a snapping or a popping in your hip I get this complaint a lot from patients. Most of the time, it's not scary. I wanna dive into the three main types of a snapping or popping hip and why two of the three are nothing serious and we can most of the time take care of it with just a little bit of form modification, stretching, and muscle work. So let me show you. Many times patients complain of a snapping or popping hip when they're in this dead bug position, whether they're doing some sort of core exercise, as they lower that hip, they get, they get that popping sensation. And that's kind of the common theme. So whether you're going from a bottom of a squat upright, that's that movement from a flexed hip to an extended hip. So right, so this hip is flexed and then it's going into extension. A lot of times that's like what creates that popping or that clicking. I wanna tell you the first, the main type or the most common type is going to be an external hip pop, meaning that's happening outside of the joint. And most of the time it's when a tendon is rolling over a bony structure. So in the, and I always describe patients. So if you look at your fingers, right, you can kind of see the tendons. If you picture that tendon kind of rolling over that knuckle like that, and kind of that that creates a popping sensation but it's not necessarily the joint that's popping it's the rolling over a convex surface so if you use your knuckle you can kind of see that tendon just sliding over that's what's happening but just in the front of the hip the sensation is more intense because the muscles and the bones are bigger so that tendon of whether it's the IT band, the glute max, or the iliopsoas, that's what happens as you lower your leg or as you come out of the bottom of the squat, that tendon, which is the more the fibrous part of the muscle, not the muscle belly, that rolling over a convex surface creates that sensation of popping. So the first thing you want to do is modify the angle of your squat or your leg to see if that takes it away. So a lot of times I can cue patients that go from this position to that position. So if you just kind of keep your knees slightly outside your foot, and if you breathe in and you pressurize your abdomen and lower back, you can lower and not get a pop or a click. Also, what you can do is you can modify by shortening the lever. So if you were doing a dead bug exercise and you're reaching your leg way out, I'd start by working that pressure in the abdomen and then just slowly lowering and keeping a bent knee. You make it easier on those muscles using a shortened lever. So those are two quick modifications. So the external is gonna be the IT band and the glute. The internal hip popping is more coming from the iliopsoas. So it's slightly deeper musculature. You're gonna feel it for sure on that lowering. So what a lot of times what I'll do with patients. So if you look at banded hip flexion here, a lot of times if you keep this knee angle really inside, people will get that pop and that click, but if you kind of open up, once again, you let that knee kind of come slightly outside the toe, that sensation goes away. So this is a great way to kind of train that eccentric lowering, which is what you're doing in the dead bug, to not get that pop or click, to control that movement, pressurize the abdomen. And then the last type of popping or clicking hip is gonna be more intra-articular. That's what people worry about. That's more the labral issues um, there might be some sort of femoral acetabular impingement. Um, so those are things that we can kind of diagnose. And if we're not treating conservatively in here, we can get you to the correct location, whether that's sports medicine or additional ortho. But the majority of popping, clicking, snapping hips are the internal and external variety. They can be treated with uh, stretches, movements, modifications in form, and they're not at all serious. So remember this kind of, if you don't take anything away from this video, it's more this sensation, that tendon rolling over a bone, and that's what creates that popping, clicking, snapping. If you have any questions, let me know. Dr. Peters, Omni Chiropractic.